Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel and to my office. We are here today for a do-it-yourself tutorial video and it's gonna be about Hellhorn's installation. I know there is a lot of videos on it on YouTube but I didn't find them really well made or useful so I decided to make my own. Plus mine is gonna be specific for the SF5 for raster. So for the installation you're gonna need male and female disconnects, ring terminal, 2 mm square electrical wire, wire stripper, some electrical tape and obviously your sets of Ella horns. So first of all we have to assemble three different wires. The first one is around 80 cm with a male and female disconnect. So the next one is the same with female and male disconnect but only 8 cm long. There you go. For the grounding wire it's a little bit more complex because you have to connect two 15 cm wires to a 5 cm wire. And that's the final result. This is two female disconnect and the terminal ring. And now the wires are built, let's get to the car. So first of all, you have to pop the hood and remove the grill. For that, we're gonna use a flathead screwdriver. On the SF5 Forester you have two horns, one behind the front grille and another one between the passenger headlights and the ABS model. All you have to do is unplug and remove them. We're gonna put the grounding wire first. The 8 cm wires is plugged directly here. The long one is plugged here and passes next to the headlight. And now you have your two grounds and your two plus. You just have to plug everything together. 
For a better wiring, make sure to face the horn connection downward, like this. Before tightening everything up, make sure this actually worked. It works. And make sure everything is perfectly even. Yeah, not bad. When it's tightened, you can clean the wiring with some zip ties. No, everything is tightened and leveled, so I just have to put the front grille back on. And BAM! That's the final result. I love it! The Ella Horns installation is done. Once you figure it out how to do it, it's a really easy job. And as a real Subaru enthusiast, you definitely have to know how to do this. I'm not gonna lie, I've done this mostly for the look. They look pretty good. But louder horns can be really useful in some situations. I hope this video was helpful. And for more do-it-yourself or tutorial video, please subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to check my Instagram account. Thanks you guys for watching and see you next week.